We're having an all-day rain here in western Pennsylvania. It's about 42, 43 degrees out, so it's a good day to spend in the shop. My Harley and Suzuki has been patiently waiting, and I'm going to get to them. But I've been working on my new milling machine, and something I just found out about a week ago, didn't know about it, but it's the unusual of how I found out about it. It's called Metal Supermarkets. Markets with an S on the end, meaning there's more than one. And this is in the United States. So I looked it up, and uh, here, about 35, 40 miles from us, there's one. And all it is is a long warehouse that they have metal that they supply to contractors, to uh, people like us that are just hobbyists in their, you know, your own shop, small stuff. Uh, they have a lot of smaller stuff and uh, big stuff. Anything you, if you need something particularly cut, they'll cut it for you. They have aluminum steel, stainless steel, brass, just about everything. And you can Google <coughs> uh, metal supermarkets and you'll see and then there's a thing that'll find the closest one to you. But how we found out about it is I have a video on and I had named it their listening test. The smart televisions. So we're in the, my wife's in her office and I'm sitting on the couch watching YouTube stuff about machining and this and I always see guys with this nice metal and I hollered in to Lois and I said, I always see these people with this real nice metal. Where do you get it? I said, I don't even know where to look for it. You know, uh, the scrap yard, a lot of it's going to be rusted and bad, bent. I didn't know where they were getting it. So the very next day, we sit down in the evening to watch YouTube. And YouTube now, when I put it on, there's like half the screen's an ad. It come up and it said uh, metal supermarket. Mark it. And it said, all your metal needs, and this and that, and you know, and I'm looking at it, so I hurried up and wrote that name down so I could Google it. Then a little bit later, the host was sitting there beside me, and I stopped the YouTube thing, and I said, hey, didn't yesterday I just ask you about metal? And she thought, she said, yes, you're right. She said, that is listening. We know it is. And one other thing I test is I turn, when you have the TV off, it'll still pick that up, what you're talking about. I mean, the TV just turned off. So we have a bar behind our TV, not to drink, <laughs> but one of those bars with a power bar. You have a switch, you can turn it on and off. So as soon as we turn that TV off, we turn that bar off. When that TV's on, we never talk about anything personal because it is listening. So I turned that power off. We started to test it. And we started about, uh, I'd tell her, or she'd tell me, we have to go look for a dryer. We just picked something, Maytag, Maytag. We said, okay, we need a Maytag dryer. Now, if that TV would have been on, we would have got an ad about either on the computer or on the TV, on the YouTube thing, somewhere we would have got an ad, and we haven't got one. So when the power's off, it's not listening. Found that out. So I went up, I found the uh, metal supermarket, and I went up there, and I got a bunch of metal, and I tell you what, they're great people, very pleasant to talk to, helpful, you know, can we help you, what are you looking for, and all this, and I went right in the back. They have like a little, where I went, they had a little bit of a, a lobby there, like if you're a constructor going in, you're going to order a lot. Well, I told them I just want, you know, small stuff and that, and they said, go right back there. He said, they'll show you. And I went back and the guy, yes, how can I help you? And I said, I need some small stuff. You know, I just got a small shot. Right here's what you want. And he showed me, they call it a short rack. They have all this metal on racks. Well, right there in front there, when you go in, there's a, what they call a short rack. And it's just a small rack of all these odds and ends that they have. And he showed me the stainless steel and the uh, different kinds of steels and the aluminum. You know, he said, it's all here. Pick out what you want. And I said, well, do you charge this by the weight? Because I had heard on other ones that they sold by the weight. And he said, well, not really. He said, uh, you pick out what you want and bring it up here to this desk. They have a scale and they'll weigh it. And he said, I'll give you a price on it. So I went back and I picked a good bit out, went up, put it there. He said, uh, $50. And then I said, okay, I'll pay for it. And then I, went, I said, I'm going to go back and get a couple more pieces. I went back, got another couple pieces big pieces, a lot bigger, and he said, uh, yeah, 20 bucks. 
So I got all this meal for seventy dollars, which I feel like is well worth it because it's just the stuff I need. And I'll reset the camera down here and show what all I got for seventy bucks. And uh, great place, I mean. And he told me then just before I left, he said, you know. If you want any kind of sheeting, he said, in the back, clear towards the back, he said, we have a sheeting area. He said, uh, we have some stuff back there. He said, if you need something, we'll cut it. He said, we have small sheets, big sheets, whatever you want, you know. And I think they have some odds and ends back there. Well, in the car, you know, it's hard to get sheets. So this is mostly what I want for building stuff around here. So let me show what all I got. So here I got a piece of strapping, one eighth by an inch by four foot long. Then this piece of steel is uh, cold gold steel, and it's a quarter by three by eighteen. I got that piece, beautiful. Then these two big pieces are quarter by five inches by three foot. I got two of those. Now you can see these are hot rolled steel because of the finish. It's dull, it's out, and the edges are a little bit rounded, and it's not a precise size. Like I say, five inches wide, it might be a little under, because that's hot roll steel. Now this cold roll steel that I showed, you can see how it's shiny, and when it says three inches wide, it is three inches wide. It's more precise where you want something perfect. And it's just the process. This was hot, this is hot rolled steel. This was hot rolled steel, but they take it to a more finished uh, processing. And what they do is after it's rolled like this, they take it and roll it when it's cold to make it the shape and size that they want. So this has more processing. It would be a little more expensive than the uh, hot rolled. Then I got this rod. It's seven eighths. Uh, by 25 and a quarter, 7 8 fits in my lathe, perfect for making stuff. And so much, you know, I was using kind of aluminum. I want to use steel. That's like everybody showing their legs, they always cut aluminum. Hey, put some steel in. <laughs> 7 8 uh, by 16 inch length. And then uh, another piece over here, it's pretty good size. That's 1 inch by 32 inches. I got that. I thought I'd go just a little bigger. That's all my steel. Then I went to the aluminum, and it's even stamped right here, one inch by an inch and a quarter, and it's 19 and a quarter inch long. Beautiful piece of steel, or uh, aluminum. Then I got this aluminum plate, a quarter by four inches, about 18 and a quarter. Really nice. And then I got a half inch plate and it's uh, eight and a quarter by eight inches so it's not perfectly square but a lot of projects you have to have this i've seen it get there and just all kind of odds and ends i mean really nice stuff so all of this i got for 70 bucks and then when i went to leave he said wait a minute there was a box there and there was a whole bunch of pieces kind of like this and he said you want anything in there just take it so I found this, it's half inch square by nine and a half. I thought maybe I could use it. All the rest of this was bigger square, which I probably ain't gonna use. I don't need. So I, I grabbed this one. He gave it to me for nothing. But great place to see and go through and look at. And uh, it's, it's amazing. So if you, if you want metal and you need something, Especially you're doing projects, and you can go to their website, and then I logged on to uh, their Facebook page. I thought you had to be on Facebook to get on it. Well, apparently you don't with that, and it come up, and I, it show all the projects made from their metal. And uh, here, I see there was an old time older truck with the round fenders, you know, the old probably back in the late fifties, something like that, sixties probably 50s, and it was in black primer, and I'm looking at it, and the guy took it in his driveway, and I'm looking at the house, and I'm thinking, that looks familiar, and the truck looks familiar. I think it's the guy I bought my milling machine off of, 
He's in Butler. This is in Cranberry. I mean, he's right next door to it, nearly. And I told uh, Lois, I said, I'm thinking that's the same guy I bought the meal off of. So let me show on the meal what I've been doing with it. So I am completely done with the milling machine all set up, ready to go. I can take my little shield I made off. And back here, I have clear plastic, and that I have, uh, I got that from Walmart. They sell it in a big roll, and uh, you buy it by the yard. And as I put this up and down, that'll give and take with it. Back here, it's all covered. The front I had shown, I used this stuff like an accordion to fix that, to close that off. And I got my digital readout all done. It's all set up. It's here where I can move it back and forth. Uh, you have the Z axis, the X axis, and the Y axis. And like these, you can uh, zero them out if you want to. And then when you go to move it, it shows how much you're moving. And this, I have a lot to do on this to figure it out. But I've already tried where I found both sides of a piece of metal and then I went over. I told it uh, you put in a half once you find both sides. It'll take, tell you right up here what half is, and then you can just move it till it gets zero, and you're right in the middle of whatever you're doing. That is fantastic. And it is within thousands of an inch, and I mean it's great. Like it, just like that. I'm going to order some more tooling to this. I want to get a bigger cutter for uh, leveling off metal, a few things like that. But I've really been fooling with that and leaving everything else go. Now my next thing I have to do first is clean up in here a little bit. And when you have a milling machine like that, and these are called the milling machines, they're they go up on top of your bench. And you need these because that puts out some little wickers that sometimes don't make a light cut. Man, you get them in your fingers, you're always digging them out. So I got a pair of gloves to wear with this. Then I have my vacuum right here where I can grab it and vacuum that all up. And that's about it for that. Uh, it took me a good while to figure all this off for the standoffs to put this system in. They're all a little bit different. Uh, I show them on uh, YouTube, but they're all made a little different. You just got to kind of work with it and try to get the covers over. They give you aluminum covers for over this. Well, I couldn't put it back here the way it's designed. It's going to hit. So this up and down, I have a lock back here. Well, I had to take it off because it was interfering with my uh, digital readout. So I come up with how I have an Allen bolt and I just use an Allen key. So what I'll do is I think I'll cut this off and put a uh, T handle on it. Just uh, braze it on or weld it and then I can, I have to take it and then just set it down here. I can't leave it in there because it's, uh, it's just an Allen bolt I have set up in there. And, but it works great because you got to lock this on because as soon as if it vibrates, it'll start moving down. Uh, the gibbs could probably be a little tighter. But for right now, everything's staying that way. That's the way it's, you know, good enough for me. <laughs> so have a good day.